The well, first thing on the docket to talk about, and I want to kind of get out there. I'm not sure if you've been paying attention. I'm the only person that cares about this stuff. But there are no jumper dramas, but interesting what's from afar. Especially the guys kind of who left. One of them being Duno. He left to go and do his own thing. Brown bag, podcast. And then during the process of leaving, Brown Mad Podcast announced that he had a deal signed up with Power 106, which is a big station out there in LA. So a big little deal there. They had a, they had like a morning show they were going to do and their podcast on the side. So, you know, double money, double dipping, amazing opportunities for their careers to kind of grow themselves as a brand, media, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Very soon after them announcing the deal and doing a couple of shows, Duno randomly wasn't on the show anymore and no one really understood what was happening. And then later on, he kind of let it be known that he kind of walked away. But then it also was let, you know, we kind of could read between lines and see most likely Power 106 fired him. And why they fire him? Because he made a really unsavory joke about Oscar De La Hoya being a cokehead, which he probably is. But if you're working at a fucking mainstream radio station and you have El Oscar De La Hoya as a guest on your show and then on the Instagram post that you upload on your you know, profile to fucking promote the show, you make a fucking cocaine joke, it's not going to go well with your fucking, you know, with your bosses. So that didn't resonate well with them. Then you end up kind of getting kicked off the show. And me and others, fans of the show, were like, you know what? That's a really dumb move for Duno. It's easy money. Why would you do that? But, you know, he does what he does. But we never got the op opinion on the other side. We never got the opinion of his fellow crewmates as to like how they felt about the whole situation. And I felt like Letty, who's kind of the main kind of person from Brown Bag, she's more experienced. She's a bit older. She used to work in, I think she still works in radio, if I'm not mistaken. Um, she kind of knows the media game. So she was the one that kind of, you know, um, gave Duno a piece of her mind in the recent episode of Brown Bag. Because since Duno left Brown Bag, the pod went on a bit of hiatus. I guess they had to get the business in order and make sure they can still do it blah 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 but this video clip taken from the latest episode number 92 it features letty basically letting duno know hey you fucked up in a big way and you painted us out to be something that we're not when actuality the issue was you not us um and i feel like this is a really good example of what i've been talking about before about these guys who'd have pods who do content for a job which i don't for fuck's sake most of us do this stuff just for fun just to fuck around but we've got fucking real nine to fives that we go and slave away at right it's me in the fucking salt mines like francis and ghana i'm there in the fucking salt mines i'm there fucking serving the whites some food on the fucking silver platter hey so here you go right we have to do all this fucking crazy jobs but for some reason these guys have to have the gift and they have the privilege and they have the fucking opportunity once in a lifetime to make money in this way where you just sit in front of a microphone and you talk shit they take it for granted and i don't understand why they take it for granted why do these guys take such a great opportunity for granted in this case you got the podcast and you got an opportunity to make a salary working five days a week at a radio station yes i know it's wake up in the morning it's awful but then you have to work like four hours a day fucking hell get it done but for some reason they don't i don't understand why let's hear the clip of letty giving duno a piece of her mind and letting him know no you fumbled the bag we didn't fumble the bag pun intended came in to the power after he interviewed with you guys yeah. at big community world big community world yeah yeah your little podcast over there um <laughs> and he came in he's like i saw your op yesterday and we're like who's I our know, op he's like, like do you know i'm like about? that's not our op bro see but people thought that i was like because yeah. of you bitch <laughs> Because of you. Can we fucking get to that? Can we get to the way that you fucking push shit out there? It makes it seem like it's Letty and Vic versus Duno. It's not. Fuck you, wow. bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, no. And set that straight no, right you're now. not joking. No, set that straight I'm right super now. joking. First of all. I want to put on my lip gloss at you again. Fuck you. All right. No, and you. you. And you. And, and fuck you. How about that? How yeah. about you made a decision for yourself? Yeah. We still are love you. I love right? you guys too. But yeah. it's not Duno versus Letty and Vic. And or Duno or do no versus Power. The internet put that agenda. But you don't help it by the shit you say, bitch. By, by and, joking. And this yes. is Sombra Sala. Keep talking. <laughs> 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 and I'm Angie from Sombra Sala. I, 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 I have to like, have to like confirm that when like, I'm, I was like. Well, you have like, to. But the way that you out, say okay, things. Good, good. I, because I, we I know. No, no. Yeah, well, yeah, that's one. <laughs> but no, it's because we know. That we're good, like, I, like all that shit was happening. We're still talking throughout yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. The internet thinks a whole different it's only scenario. You oh yeah, they, and you know it. This thing, this is what I told Vic and the crew, is that you live in that. You like the the conversations, the comments, the likes, and all of that. That's different for me. For me, it gives me anxiety because yeah. I'm like, I can't even 
like who, who am I to like go back and forth with people online because then I'd be going back and forth about you mm. yeah like when people say shit like low key like it's not brown bag without Duno yeah. duh tell that bitch that tell him tell Time that to wake up because it's not us <laughs> exactly and that's that's the main thing that's really embarrassing about the whole situation obviously the joke didn't help I, I don't I'm not one people who thinks that that joke that he made about Oscar De La Hoya was the main reason why he got fired I don't think that's the case obviously it was in bad taste I think let me see if I can actually pull it up actually let's see if I can get it um let me see what, what am I gonna write here uh do no Oscar De La Hoya joke let's see if I can find it I'm sure he deleted the post from his fucking Instagram. But let's see if we can find it. Somebody upload it on the, Let's see if it's available images. The joke was obviously in bad taste, but I don't think Power and 6 fired him because of the joke. They probably fired him because he just wasn't working well with them overall. I'd assume that was probably the case. And then the fucking joke was the, probably the final straw, as per usual with most, you know, corporations that you work with. It's usually not one thing. It's usually like a catalog of things. Um, that kind of don't help things. But anyway, we don't have it there. It doesn't really matter. But I'm sure the joke didn't help things. And then overall, the kind of thing that probably fucked him over was the fact that he wasn't getting to the show on time, just was finding it hard to wake up in the morning and fuck whatnot. And I don't understand it personally, because if it was me and I had the opportunity to make some good salaried money, because I'd imagine being a host on a radio show, even if it is a morning show um, for a couple of hours in the morning, you're probably going to make a decent amount of money and a stable income as well. It's not something you have to kind of invoice for and stuff. Why not just bang that out for a year and then kind of bank that money? And then if you want to leave because you're, you're, you're tired of waking up at four in the morning every day, Monday to Friday, then fair enough. But just at least get something, you know, in the bank for the time that you're there. And also squeeze as much opportunities that you can out of it because I'm sure working at Power 106 radio station you get invited to fucking premieres you get invited to certain parties you go to certain meetings soirees shindigs whatever it may be all these industry things they don't get chance to do unless you're a part of a big radio corporation you get to do over there why not do that why not do that that makes more sense um than just kind of fucking it all over in the space of what a few months it's really really dumb let's continue anyway you know what I'm saying? Wait, and then, honestly... Like she's joking right now. That wasn't me. Oh, sorry. I just said, wake up. Oh, That's a different thing. But because of the shit you say. So it's still brown <laughs> wake bag. Wake up. You can wake up in the morning. should make it clear. Yeah. It's still brown bag. Mm -hmm. Let the Invic hold down the radio side of brown bag. Mm -hmm. So that's brown bag mornings. And Duno supports it, even though he's a bitch and he talks shit. No, I didn't hey, talk he shit. He doesn't wake up. No hip hop wait, wait, or wait. whatever. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's... But there's also, I'm, I'm wondering, the whole waking up thing as well. Because he's obviously a um, Mexican, and if I'm not, you know, if I'm not kind of, you know, judging and making kind of sweeping statements, but I'd imagine similar to like African culture and Caribbeans and stuff, usually for the most part, especially if you're a boy, especially if you're the firstborn, you get away with murder at home. You get to stay at home for a while, unless you decide to leave yourself. You can live at home for as long as you want. You get away with murder underneath your, you know, under your mother's nose and stuff. So essentially, you're kind of grown, but you're also a bit of an infant. It happens a lot. I have some friends like that. Like, uh, you know, they're grown in terms of age, but brain-wise, they're not really all their maturity because you get a chance to kind of live at home and just basically be a big baby. And then also on top of that, the pressures aren't there. Like the pressure of nine to five, the pressure of kind of living on your own and having to pay rent and pay the bills and stuff and make sure the lights are on and the Wi-Fi is paid, that will make you wake up in the morning to do a radio gig. But if you're living at home, your mum's got fucking got, you know, rice and beans on the fucking table. There's always a fucking a nice bottle of kind of chilled juice or water in the fucking fridge. Um, all your towels are always washed. Your underwear is always fucking folded. The pressure to wake up in the morning at 4 a.m. to do a radio gig isn't there. So I can kind of understand why he's so lazy. There's Brown Bag Podcast. Yes. And it's all under Brown Bag. Yes. Yes. Right? So the podcast happens every Thursday. We should make this clear. I like that yeah. we're doing this. Yes. So I'm Brown saying. Bag, every Thursday, the podcast. 11 a.m. Plus, plus other sh 11 a.m. every Thursday. Yes. Plus other shit that's going to happen. We're thinking oh. of extra content, vlogs, and yeah. all of that. But every so day, fun. me and Vic and the crew, because it's everybody yeah. minus Duno. <laughs> That is willing yeah. to wake up and be there and have fun. And we're having. <laughs> She's so. Le Letty's had a. You could tell, like, you know, that issue with someone like a Letty that I kind of love about her is that we've all worked with somebody like this. Everyone's worked with somebody like this who, at first, you might see her and think, oh my God, she's so hot. She's so attractive. 
I want to be with her, right? Like that's usually the first reaction. But then when you get to know them, they kind of turn into more like your, you know, your work sister, your work kind of auntie, mummy kind of vibe. But they kind of get you under their wing. And usually you might start together, but then maybe she gets a job being a manager or something. But she always looks after you because you started together at the same time. She's always kind of got your back. She kind of gives you a bit of tough loving, kind of encourages you, blah, blah, blah. But you always kind of got each other's back sort of thing, right? But the issue with people like her is that when they, when you kind of piss them off, when you kind of break their trust, when they feel like they can't count on you anymore, it's over. They don't ever look at you the same. They kind of have a bit of detachment, a bit of like, they kind of have a bit of distance towards you. And I'm feeling that now with Letty, because in the beginning, her and Duna were super close, hugging all the time, making little inside jokes. She would treat him like a, like a little son, pinching his cheeks. But now she's talking to him like a little bit like, She's sunning him. You know what I mean? It's a little bit like, look, you nearly fucked this opportunity up for all of us. So she's kind of letting him be known in a loving but also a very direct way. You fucked up. You couldn't wake up early enough. You fucking fat shit. Blah, 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 blah. It's a bit sad to see, to be fair, because they were so close before. But, you know, it is what it is. Having fun, right? Oh, yeah, we're having so much fun oh, without Duno. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm happy for Duno that exactly. he's doing his thing and, and he's happy. And gets his fucking beauty rest. As, and I hope that he puts a mask as, on. And as, a, as a friend of the welfare. It's, it's so Twice. embarrassing. Bitch. Oh, my God. I love this as, abusiveness. <laughs> as, as, as a person that loves Duno, I'm happy that he's happy. I seen okay. him at EDC. As a person that loves kissing Duno's ass, how about that? <laughs> exactly. Tell him what you really think. No, I'm comfortable. Okay. Bro, I lo no, I told him. I've been, propose, told, I've been consistent. Propose, yeah, get on and, that's, and that's the sad thing as well, looking at this little clip. Clearly, these guys have a lot of chemistry. They all come from the same, you know, part of the world, similar type of culture, whatever it may be. They've got a really good niche going on there. Um, this could have worked. And Duno just fucked it because he couldn't wake up in the morning. Like, what a, what a crazy dude, man. Absolutely crazy. I've been him. telling him. I said, I'm happy that he's happy. I see him out and I'm like, He's happy. But he also doesn't like the way that you ratted certain shit. Like, we all didn't like the way that you ratted certain shit. But you're a kid. Routed. Routed. Oh, routed. Oh, I like it. Oh, like, because you could have made it very plain and like, hey, I love my family. They're still holding it down. But I just couldn't do it. Versus, oh, yeah, power doesn't let me because I listen to Corridos. <laughs> and but shout out, they can let the whatever they're doing. Um, and it feels very like. I feel very me. But you know what's really sad also? I remember reading. Or I saw somewhere. I think Terrell said something like, do not also mess up opportunity for them. So I think when they went to Power 106, if I'm not mistaken, this podcast, there was all these other opportunities that they were going to bring in. So they're going to have the other guys at Fig Munity also maybe do shows on Power or come as guests. So do no leaving basically fucked that whole shit up because he was their contact to kind of get a bring in there because, you know, they're not probably close to the other guys. So he fucked not only himself on the radio, he also fucked the opportunity for his other friends to get on there as guests and shit. Perfect. I get it. But also, <laughs> yeah. you're that era and you're that generation. Yeah, I'm and that's okay not my generation. The, yeah, because yeah. I don't like, I, I think people were like, I don't rep, like, I'm not like, replying yeah. to comments like going back and forth online. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I just talk about it and I'm like, it's because, like, bro, like, I try to, the way I try to tell people is like, bro, I don't, it doesn't affect me when I go to sleep. <laughs> It, like, should, it I, does. It yeah, does, and you're lying. Exactly. <laughs> no, not talking, at least giving each other space, it affected you. No, no, but that's that's personal relations. What I mean yeah. is online shit. What I mean is like, the, oh, gotcha. that's what I meant. Comment, all the us, like, yeah. Oh, so they weren't talking for a while. So all the stuff, again, the internet never is never wrong. And I think, unfortunately, these guys don't actually get it. Because I think if you do enough content online, if you put enough of yourself out there, it's very easy for people to kind of figure out what, what's going on, even if you don't say it. And I think a lot of people kind of came to the conclusion or assumed, like I did, that Letty and Duna did fall out because of the whole Duna not be able to wake up in the morning and go do the fucking brown bag show on power in the morning. And it's clear they did because they, you know, they're saying, yeah, they didn't talk for a while. Yeah, okay, is it like if we're being super clear, like yeah, we got into it. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. me and Letty did scream at each other. <laughs> we they got, got into, into it. it. We all got into. We got into about it about the podcast, about the podcast. not about radio. Yeah, no, it was just in general we got yeah. into it about that, and I decided that, you know what, I'm not gonna do this part, but they're doing it. Yeah, I've never once been like, oh, like 
No, I was like, I'm like, nah, go fuck with them. Like, I don't reply mm-hmm. to the... the yeah, but not... the way that you said it was very disconnecting the yourself. Tweet. And I had a conversation with you about it. Yeah. Like, that it was, we may have had a disagreement, prioritize different things. To be, and there's just something about Duno and commitment. Like, let's be real. There's something about you being feel like you're tied down, that you don't like it. And you're going to stretch. And I think that's what girls, that's what school that that's with work nah letty's letty's giving him too much of a rope there it's not to do with that let's not let's not make it into a fucking mental health issue relationship stuff now nah, the guy is just lazy it is what it is we meet loads of people like that before i've worked in places before where it's fucking easy picking packing jobs in warehouses and the guy next to you is doing the fucking bare minimum and then waits until the very last moment to fucking do his job then if he has to stay a little bit longer he starts whining and complaining but if he just would have done a little bit every fucking minute or so he would have been fine similar to aduna just take it for granted because you can't take it for granted. Let's not turn it into like, oh, it's a relationship thing. It's a, because you've been, you grew up in a single family household. And we, no, the guy's just a lazy fat fuck. Just let's just say it out as it is. Let's be plain. And that's neither here nor there. Fuck it. That's just the type of person you are. So it's like, that's not fit for you. That type of a partnership isn't fit for you. But it also was like, I, I was becoming a shitty person to the crew mm-hmm. trying to please you. Mm. But you're unpleasable. Because you didn't like oh. it, right? And also, I promise you, like, I didn't try to force you into this shit. I didn't no, no, try no, to no, force never... literally anybody into it. But I don't like, personally, that narrative of me mm-hmm. trying to force you guys into it. Because oh, that's yeah, my no. game. No, 100%. Right? No, and, it's and... like I brought you to the league. Like, hey, come on the Lakers. And you're like, nah, I like playing on the street. And it's like, that's just, it's just what it is. <laughs> you can the... Fucking hell. That's a brutal analogy. <laughs> come play in the league. Be a bench player for, like, the season. Make a couple of good million, become famous, have the fucking adoration of an entire city behind you, entire state, sorry. Um, not the you know, the state be <laughs> or play in the streets. Now I'd rather play in the streets <laughs> and have a gun in my sock as <laughs> I'm playing fucking pick up basketball. <laughs> because I can't move to wake up in the morning to go training. That's a brutal analogy. The no. biggest ball player on the street, but it's like you just didn't fuck with the not even the the censorship, but the what it would require to have that type of a level of like professional. <laughs> yeah. mm. Let's fucking brutalizing him. You're not professional. You don't have the levels, not the acumen, the athleticism, the professionalism. Yeah, yeah. yeah not does. that you're not. You're not an adult. The mindset. Look, at he's getting fucking ripped to shreds. <laughs> professional. You yeah. handle yourself in like. Uh, in, Letty, you're kind of saying he's not professional. To be fair. In in your projects. I don't also don't like that people make it seem like you're lazy because yeah. I <laughs> yes he is you just said it <laughs> I love it she's being nice but let's be real you're calling him lazy <laughs> he can't wake up he wants to play street basketball instead of training for the fucking playing for the Lakers <laughs> that's the epitome of laziness you are professional you do show up but it in works, that type works. of a committed relationship yeah, yeah, yeah. is you're just like no nah, i yeah, can't do to that me, shit to me it was, it was more about it was just i think it's different strokes for different folks yeah. and it's just and literally and, too and, nothing. And, and, and you wouldn't have liked it anyway where, yeah yeah even if we fucking we were realized. bending over backwards yeah, yeah, you wouldn't yeah, have yeah. fucked and, with and it and that was the agenda and that's why like when they were saying that i was like i didn't i didn't like you feel me like i was like i don't got i'm not okay i'll sit here anymore. but i was like no yeah, that's the their thing like that's their thing like like when and it I comes, when it to, comes to yeah. that, when it comes to that, you fucking you're you're great at which right. at that thing. Just like how like when it comes to certain type of vlogs and certain things like that. That's, you, that's, that's your just my thing. Yeah. And 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 we talked. And when I was talking, nah, that's not that's not a good example, man. To be fair, I don't give a fuck, man. You should have to do two. You should have to do both. If you can record your own content and you can, you know, clip stuff up and you can edit and you can make thumbnails and you're a whiz on. I don't know, with SEO stuff and just generally you kind of get that sort of stuff. It shouldn't be difficult to make the transition to do a little corporate gig, a little mainstream gig here and there. It should be fucking easy. That's an absolute excuse. That's cope. I don't buy it in the slightest. But it's good to see that the Brown Bad podcast is back um, and they're doing their own thing there. So check them out if you do want to do that. Actually, I'll show you their channel. This is their channel on fucking YouTube there. They've got 60K subscribers. They do pods on their brown bags. So if you want uh, the Hispanic side of things in terms of cultural community sort of conversation, then definitely check out Brown Bag. Um, really good. They obviously got good chemistry. They also obviously get on well. Um, good conversations and shit. It's just a shame that Duno's a fat, lazy piece of shit. Fat, lazy piece of shit. Fat, lazy piece of shit. It's just a shame. 
Dude, that was a fat piece of legend shit.